Um, let's get over here to uh, Tony. Tony, you're running for us. Yeah, Ronnie, I have a local Ichiban. Local. Ichiban. I'm surprised somebody hasn't already mentioned this, but maybe your guest host will have something to say about this. Right there in your very own NYC, Ronnie, the sidewalk sissies are walking a little louder, talking a little prouder. It was a gigantic weekend for the gays. Exploded. Um... We had the gay pride parade and, of course, uh, gay marriage pushed through by Governor Cuomo, the first uh, governor of New York that I can remember that made something happen that makes, you know, a portion of the people happy and a portion of the people upset. Oh, yeah, a lot of people pissed. But this was a perfect weekend for it. They couldn't get enough of it. Losing their shit all downtown. They were uh, very, very, very uh, excited here in the uh, New York City over the weekend. It came in late, too, on, on uh, Friday. Yeah, well, I was watching New York 1 <laughs> at the time. And one of the reasons that it came in late is everybody wanted to make a speech on why they were voting the way they did. Oh, come on. I mean, if you're some fucking local state guy, you don't normally have everyone paying attention to you. Okay, we get a little FaceTime. So the Republicans, there was a Republican Catholic who voted for gay marriage, and he had to go out of his way to try to prove to people this doesn't mean he's against his church <laughs> or his party, blah, blah, blah. And then some of the, you know, gay congressmen, uh, they just had run-on sentences. Oh, Jesus. Get to the point. But once it passed, everybody headed down to the West Village, started hanging out around the old Stonewall uh, bar down there, which uh, started the uh, the gay stuff uh, 40-some years ago when cops would go down into the West Village arrest people for cruising and that was kind of so one night um the gays just started fighting back and that started kind of gay rights in this country uh, normally it takes place with a couple radicals up front and then stand up for your rights and and four decades later you will be able to get married there you go yeah that's it um Bobby, you're on the Run of Fest show. Hey, Ron. Hey, Pepper. Hey, that last caller stole my thunder uh, regarding uh, the New York State allowing half slices to be legally getting married now. Uh, it is true. And, oh, now I understand Frank uh, Watson is here. Frank Watson is ready to come in. And perhaps uh, he knows a little bit about this story. I'm watching Frank Watson come in. He's got two large black women dancing behind him. He's coming down the steps. And he's throwing glitter. He's wearing a, a yellow t-shirt with a rainbow on it that says, Taste the rainbow. I assume that's a wig on his head. I don't know. And a very nice dark mustache. <laughs> come on. Someone's going to have to clean up the glitter. Here he is, folks, my co-host today, Frank Watson. Frank Watson. Glitter power. Glitter power. Hello, Ron Bennington. Hi, Frank Watson. What are you up to? It is thrilling to be broadcasting from the sixth and largest state that has gay marriage legalized. So this is something, that Frank, that you are for or against? I am absolutely for. For right. play. Let me put it that way. I'm shocked. I did not think that you would be a fan of gay marriage. Oh, I just filled out. You mentioned I was filling out my paperwork. Yeah. I was in an argument with HR because I wanted sexual orientation on the paperwork. It wasn't there. Mm. And I had to scrape because I just kept writing openly gay all over the paperwork. <laughs> 
And they're like, you can't do that. And I go, oh, yes, I can. You ask Governor Cuomo. So this is... Yes, some- I can. Yeah. This is something you want people to know about you, Frank? Yes. All Frank- right. Frank Watson is openly gay and in favor of gay marriage. So, Frank... Nationwide, not just New York State. Well... I heard that brought up again, that the fight is not over. The fight goes on. We'll get there, Ron. We'll get there. Together. We'll get there. All right, so you follow the gay marriage. Who loves Governor Cuomo? I do. Okay, you didn't give me a chance. He is... Would Obama, the so-called president, please step aside with his civil union talk right and please step aside and let a real democrat a true hero of the people governor andrew cuomo just go get this nomination next year don't Uh, wait for 2016 andy who's andy andrew cuomo the governor i didn't know we were calling him andy all right andy is dandy Mm. all right so you're you uh, usually don't hear this but he's got those cuomo good looks that is true. You don't ever hear that phrase. All right, so you're now, I guess, within 30 days uh, able to get married. Two men uh, could get married in the state of New York. Two women can get married in the state of New York. July 25th. The countdown is on. I got news for you. I think it's a slippery slope. I think people are going to want to start marrying farm animals. It's love. It's people who love each other. Consenting adults getting to be married. Having the same rights as anyone else in this state. You don't see this as a slippery slope. By the way, the... I see my bedroom as a slippery slope. Yeah. uh, (laughs) Any kind of gay sex actually, I guess, does need somewhat of a slippery slope. Um... 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Now, it is an interesting thing about New Yorkers. Uh, Frank brought up that we were the sixth state to do this, and yet New York act, acts like they invented it now. Um, they were yelling at all the other states who, who hadn't ratified it, uh, they were saying everyone's going to be following New York's lead. For some reason, they feel like they invented it. Now, they also said that this is going to bring another $180 million a year to New York because every wedding is going to be like two brides. So the money is just going through the roof. Already, hotel ballrooms are being booked up. And trust me, I can always use more ballroom. You're saying that uh, it's kind of a... Uh Kind of a double entendre? Oh, uh, hopefully it was straightforward. Okay. Uh, 866, Ron, zero fez. I'm looking for Amanda, Mary, call. Um, here is uh, Rich. Rich, you're on my fez. These gay marriage laws are the same to me as dog leash owner laws. And I don't own a dog. It has the same effect. I'd venture to guess that there's maybe more dog owners than gay people? Now, (laughs) whatever you say about it, Rich, it's passed, it's happening, and it's made some people happy. Now, the leash laws don't make all dog owners happy. They'd like to let their dogs just run around. And, of course, not all gays want to get married, but now they have a choice. That's as it's all that was asked for, the freedom to be able to do what other tax paying citizens in this state get to do. So equal. Uh, they want a choice except for the choice to lick vagina. They're not uh, happy Ew. about that before. What's wrong with vagina? And there's also lesbians are part of this. But I don't know how why the word gay it's not gay and lesbian anymore. It's just gay. If I was a lesbian I'd be pissed off. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give them some respect. It's like we don't have actress anymore. Everyone is just an actor. Mm. Uh, well, it's kind of a it's kind of a, a strange thing because I didn't notice a lot of New Yorkers talking about this going into the vote. Uh, it wasn't getting a lot of press. Um, mainly, I think, because it's been stopped before. 
And I think a lot of those people, you know, it goes to prove that a lot of people don't like to be involved in a vote uh, that they don't win. And I do think to get any changes, you've got to vote a couple times and lose before you finally get to that win. So I think there's no matter what you're involved in, I think there's a lesson there. Uh, but once it went through, you would be surprised how seemingly pro-gay marriage all the newscasters were that I never saw saying this needs to happen but you know at 11 o'clock news here we're like thank god now everybody can get married we're like where were you leading up to this nobody was involved in it now that it's here nobody wants to be left out there is some truth to that Frank there definitely is truth to that that, that suddenly everybody felt like they were uh, a part of it. Um, yeah, yeah, if you're against it now, you just look like an ass face. Um, John, Denver, you're on manifest. John, Denver. Hey, Frank, um, I'm really happy for you. I'm glad that uh, you're happy. I just wanted to correct you on something. You said previously to this new law you, that uh, gay people were not allowed to get married. That's actually incorrect. A gay man, before this law was enacted, had the right to marry any female he wanted to marry. A uh, gay woman had the right to marry any male that she wanted to marry, as long as they consented. Well, they went out of the... Uh, obviously, that was, you know, yesterday's argument. That all makes sense before now gay people in New York have this right. Here's what I worry about, Frank. Mm -hmm. I worry that New York City is suddenly going to become a gay mecca, and young gay men will be getting on buses or planes from all around the country and coming here. Up to this point, we've been known as a super straight city. Oh, yeah. But I noticed as I'll I was... I'll be right back. I'm going to the bus station. There was, that does is actually historically correct. That's where they get them. Um, but I did notice now in the West Village, and even in Chelsea, working man's town Chelsea, it's starting to seem gayer and gayer. Uh, Astoria, Queens. Getting gay. Long Island City there. Oh, yeah. Is getting very gay. Yeah. You see him walking down the street all the time now. Putting the long in Long Island City. Is that when you're, when you see him walking down the street, is that when you're looking in the mirror? No. Because you live in a gay neighborhood. Oh, yeah. I'm straight. So is there something you want to tell us? Are you yeah, excited I'm about straight. that? Yeah, straight. This is the week to tell it. It's Pride Week. It really well, is. the very end, uh, but I'm trying to extend. Uh... Uh, yeah, it's the end of Pride Week, which you know the politicians line that up so that that parade would kick ass. Now, I don't know whether you saw Cuomo on TV walking that route. People were going apeshit for him. And now suddenly people are acting like uh, this is the heir to Obama. The guy gets one thing through, one civil rights <laughs> thing through. And suddenly, this is what happens in this country. This quickly, by the time the Sunday news comes around, people are like, oh, where do you see Cuomo in another four, eight years? Forgotten about. I oh, don't know. Oh, no, president, sorry. What the fuck? The overreaction is crazy. Here's uh, Frankie. Frankie, you're on Hey, guys. Uh, I, I just wanted to ask Mr. Watson, uh, do you believe that the gay parade parade actually helps or hurts your cause? Because I mean, the, the whole flamboyance of it all seems to really piss off middle of, middle of America. But, but first of all, when you come back to the cause, they won. The gay marriage thing has passed. I'm hearing different people talking like this was last week. It's over. It's done. It passed in New York City. And forget the rest of the state of New York, where they won't even be using it. I, I noticed there weren't people running out into the fucking streets in Buffalo. Oh, no. Big empty state up there. But in New York City, 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, Saturday, people were going bananas. New York one was covering it all night. There was a lot of people going, we've been together for 20 years, 30 years. We can't wait to get married. Um, that Broadway gay kid came out. I forget what it is. He said he's going to get married in New York now. Doogie Howser, Neil Patrick Harris. That's it. Doogie Howser, Neil Patrick Harris MPA. is saying he's now going to uh, get married 
in New York, which will become a giant event now. Yep, it's going to be gigantic. Page Six will be all over it. Every fucking paparazzi will be there. It's going to be so much bigger than the Star Jones wedding. Well, it does suddenly take on that kind of thing. That this will be the first really big New York wedding that everybody is paying attention to that will not be a heterosexual wedding. Or as we used to just call them weddings. <laughs> now we got to have that terminology. Weird. Now, Frank, will these people call each other husband and husband or husband and wife? I guess there's got to be some kind of new terminology. I guess there should be some sort of one, you know, one phrase, catch-all for everybody. Right. But I know couples are so different with each other. Some like husband. Some would prefer partner. Uh-huh. You know, so it's not putting any gender label on it whatsoever. Well, you have the gender label when you just sit and look at the person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not like you're now keeping this uh, in a closet, and it isn't just for them. It has to become, for the rest of society, what do you call two married men, or what do you call two married women. Uh, we just, and, and, and I don't think it even needs to be that thought out. We just need a quick phrase. And then we move on from it. Well, I've seen couples where both are, uh, refer to each other as husband, and one refers to themselves as the husband and one to, as the wife. See, that's the people I want to hang out with. Yeah. This they have fun. definite you know, roles in their relationship. Well, I also saw this is coming up, too, in the gay pride parade, that the transgender people have asked gays to stop dressing in dresses that day. They get very mad. Like that night, a bunch of people were running around uh, in uh, bridesmaids outfits, you know, dressed as a bride. Um, and transgenders are like, stop it. You're making fun of us. Wow. You gay people. They're starting to see the gay people as the man, well, if you will. Splintering off here. I know they're so territorial. Yeah. Jesus. Um, here's Carter in Austin. You're in Fez. Well, number one, I like how Doogie Howser is who everyone talks about, and George Takai gets shit on, never mentioned his love life, so that sucks. Well, you number know what? Run. It's better to be younger in terms of what's going on. No one's ever going to care, if, other than Elizabeth Taylor, when an older person would get married. But Doogie Howser, Neil Patrick yeah. Harris, is the go-to gay guy these days. Doesn't mean he's going to hold that position forever. But uh, everybody's mad about him, straight and gay, in the country right now. What can we do for you, Carter? Okay, uh, I'm kind of confused. You said New York is going to become the gay mecca and people are going to flock there. Is there going to be trades? I know you guys are very populated already. Can we move some of our – can they, can there be an exchange where hot girls come back here to our state? Or is there an exchange rate? How is this going to work? You know, it's going to work as – choice carter and i know you probably haven't left texas there in quite some time some people leave texas look they're just ripping all kinds of wires out of there and the fucking Jeez. dust is coming in here this seems to me like it's 3 a.m work now i feel bad that i threw so much glitter i know i got a piece of glitter on my tonsil right now oh no um let's uh go to adam Hey guys, uh, not only am I happy for uh, all the gay people in New York, I'm originally from New York, and uh, I know you're worried about how far it's going to go upstate New York. I can pretty much guarantee that the enjoyment will only go to New Paltz, and that's it. It will no longer go north of New Paltz. All right, this will go to show you how confused New Paltz is. When the uh, vote happened the other night, and it came out pro-gay marriage, people in New Paltz ran out of their houses and started smoking bongs outside, thinking oh, yeah. that everything was legal. I, that, have, I have friends still up there, and uh, the mayor of New Paltz went into a bar screaming, gay marriage just passed. Right. Now the, everybody wants fucking bananas. Yeah, the weird thing about New Paltz, I was up there in a bar, jukebox. Only sublime and widespread panic were the only fucking groups on the jukebox in a bar. Damn, they're big fans. Yeah, they are, but they stopped at a certain percent. Um, Frank Watson in here today. I'll say this, Frank. 
Uh, and I know some people disagree with you politically. Oh, sure. It's going to happen. But can I just tell you something that I appreciate? What's that? The energy you brought to this show today, the sense of fun. Oh, yeah. That parade was a blast yesterday. It was such a happy celebration. I think I've been up for 48 hours straight because I was Go out. poppers? Yeah, pop meth. I was out at the Stonewall Friday night. Mm -hmm. You know, oh. it was a party through Saturday, the parade on Sunday. I'm going, I guess, on 72 hours. Uh, had drinks with the brother of Ray Liotta. At mm. least that's what he told me. I'd be very careful about that. So that's a, that was what the person informed me he was. See, let me just explain this to you, Frank Watson. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will lie. In that environment. Now, I'm looking up, Frank. Who would lie on Equality Day? Um, well, I'll just do this immediately. What's the guy's name? Michael uh, Re uh, Leota. Well, here's the thing. I'm looking up uh, Ray Leota's Wikipedia page. Mm -hmm. He's adopted. Oh. Oh, Lord. Frank Watson fooled again. Frank Watson gives his heart away. Now, unless it's, did he say I'm his adopted brother? He didn't mention adoption, no. He just said, who do I look like? Look at me. Who do I look like? And I couldn't guess. Right. I mean, uh, Ray Liotta probably would have been the last thing on my list. And then he screamed Ray Liotta, and then we had chit-chat, and he finally screamed in my face, are you going to buy me a beer or not? Uh, Patrick, you're on the Run of Fez show. Weird. Yeah, universal word you're looking for to describe your other partner, isn't that spouse? Yeah, but have you ever said to someone, this is my spouse, I want you to meet um, my spouse? Not yet, because I'm not married. <laughs> uh, but no, have you ever heard anyone say that to you? Uh, I guess not. No, but it just I, doesn't happen. Spouse sounds like this is my mate. Like we're Just a bunch the, of gorillas. That's the problem. We and you know what? This we've lost a lot of creativity. Remember, we we couldn't even come up with, na with a name for the last decade. <laughs> <laughs> we have <laughs> people will go like this. Oh man, that band is great. They had hits in the eighties, the nineties, and in the last decade. They don't know what to call it. Still, we had ten fucking years to come up with something. Um, Jeff and. La La Land, Los Angeles, California, home of the doors. Hey, Ron. Hey, Frank. How you guys doing? We're great. Awesome. I was just kind of curious. Uh, Frank had brought up the issue of gender roles earlier. I wonder what uh, your take on gay men being attracted to effeminate men is as opposed to masculine men. And, you know, uh, women, gay women being attracted to, uh, like, butch lesbians. Well, here's right. the thing. Why do some white guys only like Asian girls? Why do some black guys only like white girls? Why do we have to sit around and try to figure and, and play pop psychology with it? Why not let just people make their choice? If, if you look at a white guy and he goes, I'm, I only go for Asian girls. I guess you could call that prejudice. But again, I don't know if it's a prejudice that hurts anyone. You know, for whatever reason people are drawn, you'll meet women who will go, I'm only attracted to tall dudes. What are you supposed to do? Start screaming about jockeys for them? What the it's fuck? just it's I don't know, you know, I I don't know if we even consciously make these choices. Um but we do live in a post Cuomo world here in New York. There's no reason to debate it anymore. It happened. Done and done. It's done. It is settled. This guy got done in six months what two previous governors did so half-heartedly they couldn't get it done with Democratic assemblies. No, let me just say this. It's not the only thing the guy's gotten done. He's fucking shaking up a lot of things up there. When the last guy we had, the blind guy, uh, fingertips, everybody loved him because he was on SNL, but I don't know if he pulled a lot of shit off. Yeah, I'll throw this out there for my Cuomo in uh, 12 campaign. The man closed a $10 billion deficit in the state budget without raising taxes in the first six months. And he started to clean up Albany already, where people are having to disclose the money they're making on the side. Is that why he's been going everywhere with broom? Because he's cleaning up? He is cleaning up the streets of New York State. Um, here is uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ronnie Hicks, what's going on? Good. 
Hey, Ronnie, two things. Mm-hmm. Why does Frank Watson sound like Fez Watley? Well, he sounds like young Fez Watley. He doesn't sound like the Fez we've known here at Sirius XM. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know what you could call two gay married men. Yeah. Faggots. Now, now why did you need the, to hang up? Stay in the middle of Fifth Avenue yesterday, big man. No, there was no, re- you know, by the way, I get it. It's the old end joke brought back to us, blah, blah, blah. But never bail out like you're going to get beat up. <laughs> Phone call. Now, I will also say this. That joke is very last week. Oh, yeah. It's a whole new world that we live in. A brave new world. Um, uh, Art, you're on the Run and Fez show. You know, uh, not only is the wedding industry going to explode, how about the divorce attorney uh, world? It is very true. Gay men will now be able to get divorced, much like Catholics. They will have not only the choice to get married, they will have the choice to get unmarried. Now watch this. Uh, The first gay divorce in New York is going to get a lot of fucking heat. Huge. And it's immediately going to come out with the fact of, you see, men can't be happy married to other men. That's going to be used against the gay community. Finally proved it. But the reality of it is, you have enough proof that heterosexual marriage doesn't work. Everyone knows on an, on a conscious level that marriage doesn't work. But it's your subconscious that draws you to someone to make this crazy statement, because I feel this way today... I'm going to feel this way 50, 60 years from now. Forever. It's never going to change. And there's no... You meet two fucking kids in Pittsburgh, 18, 19 years old, saying, we want to get married. We've loved each other since the 10th grade. There's no talking them out of it. Hell no. Go to fucking Vegas and tell me that people take marriage seriously. Now, I did already read this, Fez. There's a time... uh, I'm Frank. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. I was, Fez is at home and I was talking to him. Jesus, give me a break. Frank, you're all over me today. I can't even, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you have all this energy, but I also feel I need a little room to breathe and talk to my ex-partner, Fez, at home. Where was I? Oh, so I read this thing at time.com. A gay guy wrote it. We will never have equal rights until we're able to marry in the church. You will be able to get married in the church, but a church that accepts gay people. You won't be able to get married in the Catholic church. Now, immediately they went over on Sunday morning to the archbishop at St. Patrick's Cathedral to say, you know, he'd worked very hard against this. He came up on the losing side. He was distraught. But why he's saying this He's wearing this flamboyant hat <laughs> and a long dress. And it's very fucking hard to sit there and hear from a guy what normal should be when he was dr- dressed as nutty as everybody. And that parade goes right past St. Patrick's, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's basically right about where it starts. That has got to piss them off. And it happens on a Sunday. But I'm sure it brings a lot of people in, too. 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RUN-ZERO-FEZ. I want to take a break here. We're going to be back with uh, Frank Watson. Frank Watson is my co-host name. And I will say this, Frank, a better start than any of my co-hosts from last week. Love the energy you came in with. Love what you're doing today. It reminds me of a show that I used to do a few years ago. Back in a couple minutes, 